Welcome to Bethel Life, the Family Worship Center. So, God, God saw that you was going to have some problems in the earth. So, he fought Lucifer in the cosmos and then stopped for a moment and said to himself, I'm fighting a losing battle up here because everything I do up here keeps on going on and on and on and on and there's no end to it. So he stood back and said, wait a minute here. I got to think this thing through. Whatever I do in eternity is forever. I got to figure out a way to get Lucifer out of eternity into a place where I can really fix him. So God came down and said, let there be light and there was light. Saw that the light was good and said the evening and the morning, 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 the evening and the morning. The and the morning. He was creating time because he wanted to get that booger out of the eternity and get him into time. Because if I can get the devil in time, I can bring all things to an end. Curses. Yes. Everybody say curses. curses. Look to the screen for a minute. All right. Commandment one. Thou shalt not what? Covered. Covered. Uh huh. Satan's, Satan's first sin. Read. Coveted to be the bride. Coveted to be the bride. He wants to be the bride. So now, we're doing the commandments not in the earth. We're doing the commandments in the cosmos. In the cosmos. So what did Satan do in the cosmos? He set out to steal God's wife. Uh huh. So now, the consequence of curse is the plague. Uh huh. The plague of water turned into blood, which was against the five water gods, mm -hmm. whom Happy, Tatanin, Anjit, and Sati, which is Exodus 7 and 19. Now, I want to take you real, real quick with this. All of the plagues of Egypt, all of the plagues of Egypt was against who? Who are the plagues against of Egypt? Huh? Well, most of us, the popular thing to say is Pharaoh, right? Right? It wasn't against Pharaoh. It was against the gods of Egypt. Because Egypt had pantheons of gods. They had, they had gods for every single thing that they worshiped. So when the Lord said, thou shalt have no other god before me, this was God speaking to Lucifer who had already poisoned the minds of angels that would take on these different God-like deities in the cosmos and then manifest in the realm of the earth. Number two, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Commandment number two, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Read. Satan's second sin. Satan, false Satan's second sin was what? False insinuation. False insinuation. So when the Lord said, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, God was referring to the negative words that was being spoken against him out of the mouth of Lucifer to angels that God had created. Ten Commandments is bigger than you. It didn't start in the wilderness. It started in the cosmos. This battle started in the heavenlies. The consequential curse. Uh-huh. The plague of frogs. The plague of frogs. Which was against the frog god, he quit. Yeah. Goddess, goddess of childbirth, creation, and grain germination. Commandment number three. Thou Commandment thou number three. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not steal. 
Satan's third sin. Satan's third sin. Still in the hearts of the angels. Still in the hearts of the angels. You mean, see, you're, you're playing right. Now, see, you're going to hell because you stole my gum. Listen, you ain't going to hell for stealing no gum. We got to figure out what this thing is. And this thing shaped in the... Okay. Here we go. Uh-huh. Satan convinces the angels to love him. Satan convinces the angels to love him. By reason of his brightness and his beauty. By reason of his brightness and his beauty. Now, Bishop, you have to explain that to us. Say it. What Satan did, what Satan did by reason of his brightness and his beauty is that he seduced the angels into a sexual orgy-like manipulation won their confidence and now is using that confidence that he is one with them holding it over their heads and telling them that if you don't do what I say do I'm gonna tell God what you do stealing the hearts of angels and he stole one third of the host of them. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not commit adultery. But this is in the heavenly. Adultery? What is that? Let's go to it. Uh -huh. Satan's fourth sin. Satan's fourth sin. The arena of dinosaurs, uh, manipulation of DNA, and cloning. Now, now, what adultery is, what adultery is, is what the scientists are doing in the earth right now. It's called cloning. Here we go. Three. The consequential curse. The plague of flies, which was against the gods of Anubis and Wepowet, the two gods of death and the two eyes of Horus. Every attempt that the United States government has made to clone a beast, the beast has fallen to maggots. Huh? Commandment number five. Commandment number five. It's going to be the last one for tonight. Thou uh -huh. shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. Satan's fifth sin. Satan's fifth sin. The mighty merchant. The mighty merchant. Thou shalt not kill. Say to the enemy, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. Say it again. Thou shalt not kill. Now we think that that means just going around committing murder and stuff like that and so on and so forth like that. But it's, it's something bigger. Read. Consequential curse. The plague of livestock diseases against the three gods, Hathor, Isis, and three of the most ancient deities of Egypt. And so, this is God. And he's constantly moving. Because although God is one, He's three. <laughs> but one part of God is always invisible. There's three of them. One part is invisible. That is the Holy Spirit. The other part of God is always visible, and that's Jesus. And the scripture says, how can you say, show me the Father? For if you have seen me, you've already seen the Father. For I am the Father, and the Father is me. And the reason why I can preach like this, because I saw those demons, and those demons are upset because you're supposed to be dead. You're supposed to be strung out. You're supposed to be homeless. Uh-huh, up under a bridge somewhere. 
You're supposed to be in a shelter. Y'all ain't hearing me tonight. Don't do it, silly. Don't do it. Don't do it, silly. Don't hit them, silly. Don't hit them, silly. Something holding me back, but I know my victory is just about a minute away from here. Let your neighbor say, neighbor, he better stop. Because if he don't stop, I'm going to start shabacking. If it don't stop, I'm going to start screaming. If it don't stop, I'm going to start hollering. If it don't stop, I'm going to call on the name of the Lord. And he will show up. <laughs> 